there's nothing wrong with wanting to feel close to God. Feeling distant from God can be normal and a helpful warning sign that there's something to adjust, maybe your heart or your time with God. We are in a relationship with God. So wanting to feel close or feeling distant is normal. And I think that's important to know and understand. But let's try to get away from feelings a little bit and focus more on facts and truth. Let's uh, focus more on the reality of being in a relationship with God. And we do that by looking at our relationship through God's eyes. So I want to share with you a scripture that has always meant a lot to me, and that's Romans chapter 5, 6 through 11. This is what it says. When we were utterly helpless, Christ came at just the right time and died for us sinners. Now, most people would not be willing to die for an upright person, though someone might perhaps be willing to die for a person who is especially good. But God showed his great love for us by sending Christ to die for us while we were still sinners. And since we have been made right in God's sight by the blood of Christ, he will certainly save us from God's condemnation or judgment. For since our friendship with God was restored by the death of his son while we were still his enemies, we will certainly be saved through the life of his son. So now we can rejoice in our wonderful new relationship with God because our Lord Jesus Christ has made us friends of God. You see, this is how God sees us in our relationship with him. He first came and gave us Christ dying for us and we didn't do anything for him to love and accept us. He loved and accepted us when we were sinners. Okay, and if he can do that when we were sinners, imagine what he can do. Imagine how much he loves you if you're one of his children. That's amazing. And what we're reading here in the end is in verse 11, so now we can rejoice in our wonderful new relationship with God because our Lord Jesus Christ has made us friends with God. So what Jesus did on the cross, when we believed in that, we became friends with God. We're in a relationship with him. Uh, closeness with God is a spiritual reality, a spiritual fact for those who believe in Jesus. And you can't earn God's love or relationship. So today I want to talk about love over rules. Okay, love over rules. We are in a love relationship with God, no matter if we feel close to him or what, no matter if we feel distant from him by faith you've entered into this relationship according to romans 5. god's love in this relationship isn't kept or maintained by keeping a set of rules if closeness to god was measured by rules and what you did and didn't do you may feel distant every time you fail what i'm talking about is something we call religious legalism which basically says love and acceptance from God is acquired through keeping a set of rules, a rules-based relationship. So in other words, God won't love you or accept you until you do everything right. But we just read in Romans 5 that he actually loved you when you were completely off and wrong, when you were sinners. When I was a sinner, God loved me, but now he calls me his child and his friend. That's God's view of us. So the proper view that we need to have about our relationship with God is a grace-based relationship, a love-based relationship, which means God loved you uh, when you were a sinner and far from him. Surely he loves you when you are in a faith relationship with him. Now, religious legalism, okay, it says this, um, you can't do anything wrong, you have to do everything right, and that means you're close to God and that only God will love you then and still loves you and you can feel good and close if you do everything right and never do anything wrong. In religious legalism, a close relationship with God is usually measured by how many times you go to church or if you, if you didn't miss church. Um, 
Did you read the Bible? Did you forget to read the Bible? Did you pray? Did you forget to pray? You know, it, it can feel like if you don't read the Bible for two days, you're like one step away from hell. That's religious legalism, and that's not what God wants us to live in. This is a false and unbiblical view that has made and continues to make many Christians feel insecure about their status with God and his love and acceptance of us. Um, should we be careful to, to obey God's commands and refrain from sin? Absolutely, absolutely. But we don't obey his commands and refrain from sin for him to love us. He loves us and out of that love, we want to obey him and we want to stay away from things that would hinder our relationship. God didn't love you because you were being good. He loved you because you were hopelessly lost in sin and you need help. And so did I. So we should not look at God as an umpire, okay? Calling strikes and three strikes and you're out and he's not gonna love you anymore. Um, our relationship with him is, is not based on the scoreboard or scorecard. If we reach a certain amount of number, then, then we're more loved by him. He loves us the same. When we were sinners and even more so now that we're his family member, I mean, his love has, is unchanging. He still loves us. So again, let me read to you Romans 5.11. It says this, So now we can rejoice in our wonderful new relationship with God because our Lord Jesus Christ has made us friends of God. Wow. We can rejoice. Maybe for some of us, we just need to slow down for a moment and just thank God for this relationship, just to enjoy it, to praise God that he saved us when we were all messed up, when we weren't looking for him, uh, when we weren't even, you know, doing anything that he says to do, he loved us. And, but because we put our faith in him and because what Christ did on the cross for us, we can celebrate and enjoy everything about him. So instead of jumping into all these things I'm not supposed to do and I'm supposed to do, what if we just said, thank you, God. I, I want to enjoy this relationship. I want to appreciate everything you've done. I'm grateful for it. That's what we could do next. So when we, when we view our relationship with God from a grace and love relationship view versus a rules-based relationship, we'll not only enjoy fellowship with God, we'll even feel close to God. So the next step is to simply learn how to fellowship and enjoy our relationship with God. And I look forward to sharing with that, that with you next. Let me pray. God, we thank you that you loved us the way we are, but you love us too much to keep us the way we are. You change us and you mold and shape us into a new person. But God, we thank you that you loved and accepted us and that we don't work for that love and that we don't have to be in this rules-based relationship. It's a love over rules relationship. Because you loved us first, we love you. And we want to enjoy and be in this relationship with you. God, help us to see this the proper way. Help us to see our relationship with you the way the Bible says, the way you say it is. And Lord, we will be very careful to not try to uh, feel close by the things we do, but we will know we're close because of what you've done for us. In Jesus' name, amen.